So the Enhancement Talent of the Week is brought to you by Star Will Books, your map to amazing stories. Star Will Books is the publisher of the best-selling science fiction series, The Adventures of Duke LaGrange. You can visit them today at starwillbooks.com. And Donnie, I have a big one for you. This is, uh, this is one I've been looking forward to when, once I knew that this segment was going to be part of the show. I'm going to throw out a, some few tidbits, some uh, the highlights of this Enhancement Talent's resume. I'm going to see if you can guess who it is. So this enhancement talent had a 28-year career spanning from 1978 all the way to 2006, most of that with the AWA and the WWF. In his sophomore season, he was part of the NWA Central States Tag Team Tournament. He teamed with uh, Bruiser Bob Sweetan, and that tournament had some, uh, some some pretty big names in it. Bruiser Brody, Lord Alfred Hayes, Wild Bill Irwin. In the first round, uh, him and Bob Sweetan fell to Bulldog Bob Brown and Gama Singh. So a Gama Singh reference already here in the show and the young history of the Wrestling Life Support podcast. The, despite being an enhancement talent and losing probably 95% of his matches, he does have a few notable wins. In the AWA, he pinned a very young Jerry Sags and a very young Brian Knobs. Totally separate matches, but he has those wins. And he actually has a DQ tag team win teaming with Rick Martell against Crusher Blackwell and Ken Patera. He's also teamed with Nick Bockwinkle. But the majority of his career, he was losing to the likes of everybody from Harley Race and Billy Graham and Bobby Heenan and Hulk Hogan to Saba Simba and Owen Hart and Men on a Mission. He actually had a really long run as a tag team partner of Barry Horowitz, uh, who you know obviously is very well known in the enhancement talent circles against Men on a Mission. But the one I wanted to bring up, there's two, there's two big notes, and I think these are the highlights, and it might give it away. Number one, he was part of Sarge's Snipers on the, you know, in the infamous AWA Team Challenge series. Mm, he was in the tag high, team battle royal. Highly uh, infamous. Yes. Um, and the other one is, you know, during the Monday Night Wars, we always talk about jump and ship, whether it was Lex Luger, Rick Rude, whatever. This guy jumped ship, and it just did not get a lot of pub in – in uh, March of 1995, he was on WCW Saturday night, unfortunately in a losing effort against Kevin Sullivan and The Butcher. And then less than a month later, bam, he's on Wrestling Challenge, Wrestling the Smoking Guns. So this is a, this is a big guy. That, like I said, he's in my, maybe in my Mount Rushmore of enhancement talents. So Donnie Mueller, any guesses? I, I am not the historian on enhancement talents. I think you are definitely going to be the expert there because there is such a wide range of names that could fit that role. <laughs> of all those, all those statistics. I think we will have more statistics on enhancement talents than have ever been heard on a podcast before. And that's just a little bit of what we do here on the Wrestling Rise <laughs> Podcast for you, our fans. So this week's enhancement talent of the week is Mr. Tom Stone. Ah, everybody loves him. So. Link in the show notes, a couple of his classic matches, one against the Ultimate Warrior, and I'll also throw in the tag match against Slaughter and Blackwell, where he teamed with, with Nick Bockwinkle. I don't know how that happened. Wow. Bockwinkle must have been in the doghouse uh, in AWA at the time. <laughs> I, I don't know. But, uh, but anyway, so this week's Enhancement Talent of the Week, Tom Stone. Wow. Also known, also known as wimps, back in, uh, as I called them when I was growing up. They were wimps. I love it. Yeah. I, I, we always, yeah, we always called them nobodies um, and, or no names. Everybody yeah. had a term and enhancement yeah. talent and jobber. None of that existed. So you just had to come up with your own. Yeah. Yeah. And they were, I mean, you could spot them a mile away. Um, also, you know, by their infamous currently in the ring, um, yes. no, no entrances allowed. Yes. Times have changed since now they get theme song. So if you like the enhancement talent of the week and you like us here at wrestling life support podcast, I'm going to let Donnie tell you how you can find us on social media. You can find us on all platforms at WLS Podcast and search Wrestling Life Support on Facebook. 